Welcome to Pastor's Chat. Paul is dealing with people at Colossae that have come into the church and are teaching false philosophies. They have dethroned Jesus Christ. Today, this is a wonderful book for us because many of our churches today and institutions across this nation around the world have also dethroned Jesus Christ. And I'm just so encouraged to today try to help us understand how we can throw up a defense, be on the offensive against the false philosophies of the world. Our children are growing up today with all kinds of false philosophies being thrown at them. One of the main ones, of course, is the theory of evolution, teaching them that they have come from a monkey. A big bang happened billions of years ago, and over the periods of time, there is this evolutionary process where eventually and progressively we became a human being. My friend, that dethrones Jesus Christ. Bible teaches that every human being is created in the very image of God. We are a reflector of God. We have tremendous value because we are created in God's image. And we want today to encourage you to understand who you are. You are a person of great value because God made you in His image. Despite what might have happened to you, how you've been treated, I want you to know God has never taken His heart and His eye and His love from you. He wants you to be His child. He wants you to grow in His grace. And He wants you to live a life of fullness and completeness that you only can find in His Son, Jesus Christ. And that's what Colossians is about. Now, Paul, and I want to read some verses. We've read them several times already. And so he says, here's the defense. Therefore, therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in Him. So number one, walk in Him. Secondly, be rooted and built up in Him, established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving, being thankful. See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit. See to it. In other words, be aware. There are people who will lead you astray even after you become a genuine personal follower of Jesus Christ. And he says it will be according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, not according to Christ. For in Him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. In Him dwells the fullness of God. In verse 10, And you have been filled in Him. You have been complete in Him who is the head of all rule and authority. So what is God's answer to those who want to uh, avoid getting caught in the trap of false philosophies of this world. Number one, make sure you're in Christ. Make sure you're a believer. Secondly, make sure you're growing up in Christ. Grow up in Him and uh, make sure you're going in the right direction spiritually. That's what that means. You're in the Word of God. You're walking with Him, rooted and built up in Him. Grow up in Him. And then third, make Jesus Christ the test. Make Jesus Christ the test. Ask this question every time. Does it give Christ the place of preeminence in my life? Almost every religious system today gives Christ an eminent place. They say he's a good man. He, they talk about Jesus. They put Jesus even on the front of their churches. And you would think that all oh, these people are about Jesus. But the truth is they have taken him down off the throne and they have not given him the preeminent place. They've added some man, some teachings of man uh, along aside that. And I'm telling you, even good so-called, quote, Baptist churches, just like our church, if you're not careful, can get away from who Jesus is and what he's done. Matter of fact, every false religion, every false uh, aspect of Christianity actually will deny the deity of Jesus Christ. That's how you know it's not the right place. So my friend, be careful. Now, of course, what happens? How do you know how do you know what's true and what's a lie? How do you know that Jesus said the devil's a liar? He's from the beginning. He's the father of lies. And he's come to kill, distill, steal, and destroy. Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. You can usually tell when someone comes to the church with false teachings, it starts causing division and strife. When someone's teaching truth, people are drawn together, not just with the man that's teaching, but they're drawn together in Jesus Christ. A greater love for Him, a greater place of lordship, preeminence in His life. He rules in our lives. 
and we are complete in Him. Are you complete in Christ today? If not today, ask God to cleanse you, wash you, and set you free from the philosophies of the world and find your all in all in Jesus Christ. God bless and have a wonderful day.